Assalamu alaikum. I failed my exams, GCSEs, O level, A level, matric, whatever it was. I didn't do well. My brothers, my sisters, my children, it's not the day of judgment. It is not the day of judgment. It's not the end of the world. Do you know what? It's okay. It's fine. You did well. That's okay. You can repeat the subjects if you want. Don't worry. If you worked hard and you still failed, then it's okay. And if you did not work hard and you failed, you are to blame and you should do better in the future. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy. But remember, it's not the end of the world. You're not the first person who failed. It does not mean you're an evil person. It does not mean that you have no future. Remember, you are a special person, unique human being. Allah has your path planned in a beautiful way. There is no point in becoming depressed simply because you did not make the grades for something. Remember, some of the wealthiest people didn't really pass at school. Some of them didn't even go beyond a certain level at school and they really earned a lot of money. Go and study the lives of the millionaires and the billionaires. Some of them were dropouts. So your wealth, your sustenance is not directly connected to the level of education you have. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. While I say this, I must mention it is important to have a good education, to work hard, to try your best, to enjoy your days at school, the discipline, so much more, the friends you make, the company you have, the growth, alhamdulillah, it's really a good thing. But it's not the end of the world if you didn't make the grades. Perhaps Allah wants you to do something else. You might have wanted to go into a specific faculty or a field. And perhaps your marks were not enough or your grades were not good enough. It's okay. You're not the first person this is happening to. That is really fine. You can repeat if you'd like. You can repeat again. I know of people who've repeated three to four times and then they've made it. And some who've repeated three to four times and still did not make it. It's all okay. Allah perhaps wants you to go down a different path. Perhaps your success will be through something else. So it's not the end of the world. Consider other things. My beloved children, my brothers, my sisters, remember, work as hard as you can and then lay your trust in the Almighty and inshallah proceed, progress, do your best and leave the rest in the hands of Allah. If you passed, alhamdulillah. If you didn't, still, alhamdulillah. In fact, who knows, that might be your doors opening to something that you didn't imagine you would receive. So it's not the end of the world. Now, to my dear parents who expect so much from their children, remember, if your children have failed at school, don't swear them, don't insult them, don't belittle them. If you do that, you have failed your test as a parent. As a parent, you should have encouraged them from day one to work hard. You should have supported them and given them a good upbringing. And at the same time, if they failed, you needed to support them, show them the comfort or give them the comfort that they deserve at the time. Sometimes people go through challenges. They don't do well, not because they didn't work hard, but simply because Allah wanted it that way. And here come some of the parents and they swear, they curse, they abuse, they belittle their own children, causing trauma, causing mental health issues and belittling in a way that the children feel so rejected and dejected. My beloved parents, say a good word to your children. Let them know it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Do you really care for your children? Subhanallah. True success is when you succeed in the hereafter. How many of us have given importance to that knowledge, to those deeds? Many of us are guilty of not being bothered in that regard. And then when it comes to subjects, I paid the fee, I did this, I did that. We know as a parent you did it. You should have communicated with your child from day one. Good communication, love, a beautiful relationship. You don't just come whenever the results are announced and then you say, you failed, you're a flop, you're an idiot. Astaghfirullah. People use these words. 
if we were to use comforting words, we will empower our children. They will believe they can do it. Subhanallah. They will enjoy the few days that they have with you remaining on earth before you are taken away or they are taken away. I've known of parents who've regretted their excessive reprimanding of the child who actually did not live long enough to see the age of 20. So my beloved parents, take it in your stride. If your child has failed, he or she is not the first child who has failed. Unfortunately, we expect too much from our children sometimes. Remember, it is your moment of trial and test when the results come out and they're not what you expected. That's your challenge. That's your test. Are you going to pass it by saying, it's okay, it's fine. Inshallah, you work harder next time and you do better or you can repeat, it's okay. You may lose a year. The child might lose one year. That's fine for as long as they haven't lost themselves or lost a lifetime. So my beloved parents, don't over expect. Remember, these children are an entrusted to us by Allah. We call them an amana, a trust, entrusted by Allah. Treat them with respect as well. And inshallah, we will find goodness in this world. We need to bring up a generation that believes in itself. Some children are good at different subjects, at different things, some at sport, some at mechanical things. Alhamdulillah, recognize that. Some may be in religious studies, some perhaps in something else altogether. So learn to recognize the greatness, the goodness of those children. Help them develop by spending time with them. If you have not spent time with your child, even if they've passed all the, the examinations, you have failed as a parent, especially if you were doing nothing besides wasting your time, nothing constructive, and you still didn't spend time with your children. That's who we're talking about. My beloved parents, I've spoken a lot. I've said enough. I hope you've heard what I've had to say. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless every one of us. Those children who have passed with flying colors are not necessarily the best of children. Remember that. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.